So I'm easing in through these tissues and lengthening that out. Now remember, we can't put the arm up here to stretch to check for a muscle strain. So I'm just going to do a modified stretch of pick my arm. I'm going to roll the shoulder back. And what I want you to do is when you pick the shoulder up, touch the spot that bothers you. Go ahead, put your finger right on it. So in that position, there's the muscle fiber tearing, which is called pec minor strain. If it was inflammatory, which it's not, it would be called tendonitis. But in this case, it was just a mild repetitive stress to pec minor and caused tendinosis. So I'm going to go in and do multidirectional frictioning. Now I want you to really watch the close-up here because my index finger is supported by my middle finger. The skin must move with the tissues. You cannot be sliding on the skin. You have to be using the skin as an element to get to the deep muscle fiber tearing. So the muscle fibers that are injured are frictioned in multiple directions. As you will see in the screen, in, in, the, in the split screen, the fibers in this injured site are multidirectional. So you friction in multiple directions for up to 30 seconds. Now we're going to do a modified eccentric muscle contraction. I'm actually going to lift the shoulder up and shorten the pec minor, and then I'm going to ask Fran to give me a little bit of resistance, but let it move, let it move too much resistance, let it move, let it move, and let it move. And then I'm going to shorten the muscle and say, give me just a little bit more resistance, but let it move, let it move, let it move, and let it move. 